Hey guys, Alex here from Homeschool of Bel Air. Today's video is going to be a quick look into how my eighth grader school is going so far. This is for the 2025 2026 school year. Okay, so first things first, if you guys didn't know, we did start our school year pretty early this year. We started it the first week of May, which was May 5th. So we already have a couple weeks in. Okay, now for the language arts, we started our school year with all-in-one curriculum, and that is still what we're working through. We're about 25 lessons in. Now, I'm not gonna go super in-depth with this one. I'm also filming on Evelyn's desk, so I don't have the computer in front of me. But if you guys don't know, the curriculum is on the computer. It's a fillable PDF. You can print out the activity sheets. All the activities for the first semester are here. He also uh, requires a composition notebook or any kind of writing notebook for any other assignments that he might have. Um, this year, he's already written a few short stories. He's done a comic strip. Um, he does, um, they do this vocabulary bubble thing. So he's done a little bit of that. So anything like that is gonna be in here. His activity worksheets are gonna be like vocabulary assessments, um, summarizing stories that he's read, uh, some kind of grammar practice, things like that are gonna be all in here. So, so far for the eighth grade level, he has read a few short stories. Um, some of them have been just like Rumpelstiltskin. I believe next week he's gonna read, I wanna say Edgar Allan Poe. After that, I believe he starts Call of the Wild, which is gonna be one of his first chapter books that he reads for the school year since so far he has just been doing short stories um so far he's enjoying everything that he's been doing this year i'm not going to go super in depth with this one i, I did, did notice that the all-in-one homeschool curriculum company does have a youtube channel now so what i am going to do is i'm going to link them in the description box so if you guys have any other questions or want to see more flip throughs i'm going to go ahead and just add that in the description box so you guys can go check it out makes me real happy because i feel like i try to do as many flip throughs as i can but i feel like hers are definitely more, way more thorough and have more information on the curriculum itself let me go ahead and move on to our next subject okay so next subject science so if you guys can see science has obviously changed um, from the first year of school we were going to start with the all-in-one um, earth science for the eighth grade level he did work on it for the first three days of school after that he kind of mentioned that he thought it was kind of boring and uh he wanted to do something a little bit different especially since i had already talked to him about having to do earth science for ninth grade because that's part of the ninth grade pack with the all-in-one and uh because he knew he was gonna have to do it for ninth grade for a credit anyway he asked if he can change his science now prior to him telling me evelyn had already kind of mentioned to me that um she might want to do something more hands-on as far as science because we were just doing the elemental science so around the same time i had noticed that sarah perryman from let's do school had released a botany book and um at the time she had just posted that she was working on it i just happened to be on the etsy and i saw that it, she had actually released it and i went ahead and just ordered it i just jumped on it and i said i'm just gonna order it it's only 25 bucks let me just go ahead and get the science going with Evelyn, because that's what I was gonna use it for. Initially, that was what it's gonna be for. Um, so at the same time, like I said, I had just received it, and then Adrian was talking to me about changing science. When I opened the package, he saw it. He was like, oh my God, is that my new science? I said, no, this is your sister's. But then the more he looked at it, he was like, but I kind of want to do that. So I just let him and, you know, I was trying to keep Evelyn working through the elemental science because at the time, you know, it was just kind of fitting in with the literature and I'll kind of go more over that when I do her video. Um, so Adrian started it and he's been absolutely loving it. And uh, he's got little plants that he's been growing and um, I'll kind of show you guys real quick. So he planted, I think it was like the second week of school, I think, no. Uh, what was it? Uh, yeah, like the second week of school or third week of school, he ended up planting a little bean, one of these little uh, beans here. And uh, look how pretty it is. And we're, I was telling him we might have to transfer it soon because some of his little roots are coming out of the bottom. So that's his little bean sprout. And uh, the other one was a pumpkin. Um, and some of the activities... See, he was doing a little pumpkin seed comparison with the little lima bean. And um, 
He's been really enjoying this curriculum. Now, one of the things that I do want to mention, it is a fifth to 12th grade level. She also released, or not released, she also added a little rubric in case you want to do it as a credit for uh, high school. So it kind of gives you uh, what you can do to turn it into a credit. So, um, and I told Adrian that if he would like to, he can. He would just have to do follow the rubric and do the assignments that he has to do when he's done with this and we can possibly count it as a credit also so it is super colorful it is beautiful it has been pretty hands-on so any of the little activity uh things that he has to cut out we just kind of have a little folder here where he kind of keeps them so we don't lose them and um so far he's been loving it this is probably one of his favorite subjects so far um but um, I would say that right now he has another favorite subject, but I'll get into that when I get there. But he does love this a lot. Um, okay, and then for this workbook, there is no teacher's guide. When you get it, it's just this. There's plenty of instruction. Um, we haven't had any trouble with any of the activities. Adrian actually does it pretty independent. And uh, he just kind of gives me a list. He writes everything on a post-it of things that he needs for you know the coming up weeks. And then uh, I just go to the Dollar Tree and buy him. Um, I did uh, buy him some of these the last time I went to Dollar Tree because we're starting to forget and especially if he's going to be planting more here in the next couple weeks I told him we have to start labeling them um, I think he's going to have to do a carrot soon he was telling me that he might need a carrot so um, yeah like I said so far so good if you guys want to see a complete full flip through I can do that for you guys you guys could also again um, go to Let's Do School on Etsy and purchase your own I am very happy with it and uh, let me go ahead and move on. Okay, so the next thing is history. So if you guys watch my curriculum picks video, this one also completely changed. Now we had scheduled to start Beowulf American History and just the more I really sat and went through all the clickable links to print everything out for him, at least for the first month of school, it was a lot. And it wasn't just from one website. I mean, I was jumping from um, homeschool in the woods to Scholastic to just a bunch of other little websites and I was just signing up for so many different email lists just trying to get access to free printables and it was just becoming a lot um, so then after that I had Pandaya Press American History Plus Civics because I had printed that out for Vincent a couple years back and uh, he never started it he never used it so I had all of that already printed for him so I just had Adrian start that since I already had everything ready. He started it, he worked on it for the first, uh, I wanna say first three weeks of school, but then he complained to me that it was too easy and that it was too kitty because it was just a coloring page and it was just not fun for him. So the more we talked about it, we went through uh, the different times, obviously the different time periods and different types of history. And he told, I asked him, do you wanna do like Egyptian times, you want to do ancient times, you want to do American history, maybe like an older time, do you want to do present, like modern? And he told me he wanted to start with ancients again, because we haven't done ancient history in a really long time with him. So, so I ended up going on Pinterest to try to figure out what we can do. Um, one of the things that kept coming up was obviously story of the world. I own story of the world. And so I brought it up to him, would you be interested in doing story of the world? And um, at first he said yes. So I was already gonna print everything out for him. I already have the audio, everything ready for him. And as I was going on Pinterest, trying to download projects for him and just different things for him just to make it more uh, hands-on, I ended up coming across the Pandaya Press History Odyssey. Now I had forgotten that Pandaya Press had a whole other series of history. So I ran over to Pandaya Press. I clicked on the History Odyssey. I went to YouTube to try to find videos on it. I found a few, but nothing was really giving me a flip through or anything like that. People were just talking about it. So I decided to just download a sample. I downloaded a sample and I just went with it. I said, you know what? I'm just going to buy it. Um, Pandaya, I had just missed their sale too. So I was kind of bummed out about that, their spring sale. And I missed it literally by like a day. So um, I was a little bummed out, but I still purchased it because I was like, okay, at this point, I just need for Adrian to start something. Went ahead and downloaded everything. I placed the orders on all the books that I needed for this. We did have to wait a little bit and um, we just started this this week. Now, just in the first three lessons that we've done, Adrian has now told me that this is his new favorite subject. Um, 
before well botany's next he told me he loves the botany but he was telling me that this is his new favorite okay so we were supposed to start this on monday we weren't able to start on monday because i was still waiting on some of the books to come in and i was able to finally get everything that i was waiting for on monday so we started it fresh on tuesday so uh he's only like i said he's only three three lessons in so with this curriculum here i did have to buy a couple other books let me go through that real quick first um before i kind of just show you guys how it's going right now okay so with this one i did have to purchase the kingfisher's history encyclopedia this is the main book for the curriculum the other one is a story of mankind that is this one here i was able to find it for just like 99 cents on uh as a kindle sorry the reflection of my light in my window here um and then he also needed a history odyssey timeline now we didn't do the history odyssey timeline but i did do the school nest timeline notebook so that is what we are working through and then this he also needs the tales of ancient egypt and uh what was the next one the other one is the golden goblet which i was able to buy also for him the children's homer which is this one here and then greek myths by olivia coolidge that is this one here the only two that i haven't been able to get my hands on are the theras in his town but i was able to find it as a free ebook through the um archive library and also caesar's gallic war now i can't find these two um i ended up finding theras uh this one on I think it was thrift books so i'm actually waiting on that that hasn't come in yet and then caesar's gallic that one is just way too expensive i'm not buying it so we're just gonna do the archive library um okay, so one of the other things that we needed for this was an atlas so for that i ended up getting this through thrift books and this is the uh, kingfisher's atlas of world history so far it has worked out and i'm so sorry for the glare um obviously i found it used so it was like six bucks um, this is the last thing that I was waiting on. I received this yesterday. Um, the only out other outlets that I had was this one. This is the one Adrian actually used for that first lesson that we did um, because we were still waiting on this one to come in. And this one did work out, um, but I do feel like this one has better information to go with what we're doing. Um, so, so far it's, it's worked out for the lesson that we did, like I said, uh, today. So that is that. Um, now for this one, we are doing it more in a notebook style. Now they kind of wanted you to have a binder with some, uh, seven dividers to divide the different sections. Um, the sections being summaries, people, wars and conflict, religion and mythology, art inventions, architecture, maps, um, and like other worksheets, and then a timeline. Now for the timeline, like I said, we're using the school nest timeline. Um, and we are color coding sections because since he's working on this independently, I felt like um, since we're not doing the dividers, we're just color coding to keep the lessons together instead of, you know, using a divider and dividing all the different lessons. So, so far, this is what he's got and he's really enjoying actually his timeline. Um, and then as far as his notebook, again, we're color coding the sections. And um, for that, we're just keeping all the summaries in purple art inventions and architecture teal religion and mythology in our little light green maps in the dark green and then so forth and so on so like that like i said i didn't want to divide the the sections by these categories i wanted to keep the lessons together um i'm hoping that's making sense because then that would be lesson one this would be lesson two but then that would mean that i would have a, this in one section this in another section this in another section i didn't want to have to do that i wanted to keep you know lesson two together lesson three together um so this is how we're doing it and he is absolutely loving it and i'm just happy that we get to keep a little notebook and a little timeline um he also brought up to me that uh, he wants to stay with this history for the remainder of the time. So I think we're going to look into just staying with the Pandaya Press History Odyssey for maybe the rest of his schooling because um, he was telling me that he really wants to finish his timeline. Um, and I feel like if we stay with this um, series of history, we should be able to just kind of complete this timeline by the end of, you know, his senior year. So I'm excited. That makes me excited for him. Um, and he is my more um reader student he likes to read a little bit more so i like that it is more of a literature based curriculum um so let me go ahead and move on to the next okay so next thing math now we did change our math if you guys haven't seen my sophomore videos we were supposed to be starting with teaching textbooks and i had mentioned on that video that the boys were not working out problems and I really wanted them to grasp these topics that were being taught in these, especially in these higher grade level maths. 
So Vincent is working through the geometry, if you haven't seen his video, through all things algebra from TPT. Adrian is working through the pre-algebra. Um, so far, it's going great. The curriculum does come with video lessons, which Adrian actually loves. Um, they both love them, but Adrian really enjoys them because he's saying that he's really learning and understanding the concepts. Um, Adrian just started unit two, and I'm not going to show the top of the page because he does tend to write his full name on the tops of the pages. Um, he's really understanding the concepts. I did have to get on him about showing his work because he was kind of getting into the habit of not showing his work. Um, he's getting better about it. He did start unit two today and um, it's going great. So, so far so good with this curriculum. Okay, so now for our electives. So Adrian is actually working through the Let's Do School Art Workbook. This is the Art Fundamental Workbook from Sarah Perryman. You can get this on Etsy. I've done a video in the past about this workbook. Now this is something that Evelyn was working on. Um, and I had purchased a second copy for myself. Now, when Adrian saw Evelyn working through it, he said he wanted to do this art also. So I had already kind of stopped working on it with Evelyn. So I told him, why don't you just work on mine and, you know, do activities with your sister. So this is something that they sometimes sit and work through the pages together. Okay, so now with this, there's no teacher guide. There's nothing like that. Um, they just kind of sit and just kind of work out the pages. You know, they just kind of go in order. Um, he's really enjoying this. He's loving it. He actually looks forward to ending his day with his little artwork. Book. Okay, so along with art as an elective, he also does typing with typing. This is a website called Kids Type. I'll try to add a little picture in here somewhere for that. Okay guys, so that is it for today. That's all I have for you as far as eighth grade and how it's going so far. If you guys have any questions, please feel free and leave them down below. I will be trying to record an update on Evelyn and how the year's going so far here in the next couple of days. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.